himsa. You are making himsa on your body. When you eat natural food, what we grow vegetables, that is agimsa. So agimsa is not only outside, also in your own body. So don't do any violent things against your own body. So make a agimsa in everywhere. So in order to do that, what did I taught you? Good thoughts. Good, good words. Good actions. Good actions. Good actions. Again, good thoughts. Good words. Good actions. Wonderful. You have done very well. So now I want to tell you only one important thing I'm going to tell you. That's why I came to Surat. So now the definition of life. What is the definition of life? If I ask you, what is the definition of life? You should answer. <coughs> life is defined by three words. One is consumption. Number two is reproduction. The third is adaptation. Now I'm asking you how to respond. Okay, what is life, girl? Life is defined by consumption, reproduction, the last one is adaptation. Okay, remember, what is consumption? Consumption is eating, eating. All life on earth, from squirrel to snake or tree, everybody eats, okay? Consumption means eating. The second one is reproduction. All life reproduces. Dogs, they have their own babies. Cats, they have their own babies, humans, snakes, so reproduction. The third one is the most important. I came to Surat to talk only one word, adaptation. So what is adaptation? You know what adaptation is? One example, like them. There is a crow here, for example. Crow, crow. All of you know crow? Crow will live here if there is a tree. Because it needs food, build a nest, so tree. And then it needs food, so it needs frogs, fish, uh, lizards. So, and then also crow needs water. Crow needs water. Okay? So as long as water and food is available, tree is available, tree will, uh, crow will live here. If tree dies, and the water evaporated. No food, no water. So what would crow do? Crow would fly away. Go away to different place where there is food and water and tree and adapt itself. That is adaptation. So when you don't have food and water, you fly away and adapt yourself. So all life is adaptation. Look at a lot of birds, they are not living here. Because they don't have, they find there is no food. Probably there is no water. There is too much of pollution. All animals and birds they flew away to different area. Only we are stupid. Humans are very stupid, so we are staying in Surat. In India, all life, many wildlife, they have gone away to Siberia, Russia. They have gone to China because environment is no good here. But only humans we are. So adaptation means you. Find ways to live when there is ecological problems. You know what I mean? There are a lot of problems in India. No water, there is no good food, there is no air, and everything is polluted, and too many people. A lot of overpopulation. And uh, the prices are too many. We don't get quality food. And the uh, education is so costly. So a lot of problems in India. Land is polluted. So all life has gone away but only humans are. So now, how can we adapt? In two ways. One thing, you can go away to another country. Another one, we can repair. We can help our ecosystems to do well, like planting trees, recycling waste, not to eat meat, becoming vegetarian. All of you should become vegetarian. And then, go by buses. Travel by buses, go by walking, don't use your cars very often, and then don't buy too much. Consumption should be less, less. You understand what I mean? So, adaptation means you try to adjust, you try to 
repair, we try to renew the resources and the environment. So adaptation is very, very important now.